long ago in the Zhou Dynasty. Scribes and warriors alike come to see one man for his wisdom. Sun Tzu, his ancient wisdom, written down for all the ages to experience, has given me inspiration. You see, the supreme art of war is to subdue the enemy without fighting. Yes, and with this inspiration, I have created this! Revival of the Duelist, the ultimate guide to competitive Yu-Gi-Oh! Get a free chapter preview right now. Ah, yes, my boys. Back at it again to cook with a brand new deck. Now, today we're playing the Snake Eye Tri Brigade combination. Now, you don't have to play it this way, but you definitely got to play Snake Eye Tri because this deck has a very deadly combo. We're going to be using Saryuja Skull Dread to replenish our hand and also allow us to have board presence so that we can link into powerful monsters that can combo with King Tiger Wang Goo. Now, when we set up this combination, we're gonna be able to stop our opponent's Snake Eye cards because all their monsters will be under uh, uh, 1400 attack points. And that means that they'll be instantly destroyed. Um, so based on that, my boys, we've got this spicy combo. And then we've also uh, gonna be able to counter many other decks that run little monsters as well. Obviously, the main weakness of the deck is that you can get it run over with some big giant monster, but that only depends on if you go into this combo. But this video is only for this combo and you can enjoy the rest of it. So let's get into it. So we're gonna start off by using Fractal's Effect to begin the tri Brigade line, which pretty much means that in order to do this combo, you need two tri, two tri cards. So beast wing beast uh beast warrior etc you just need two cards of that and then also you got to have your carrots in hand which we would get from our tri brigade fractal line but we are gonna uh, since we already have this in our hand we'll just go get something else now what's interesting about this is now we're gonna go into our snake eye ash so we already tested to see if they have Ash in their hand. We've already tested to see if they have some sort of response like Max C. And clearly they don't have anything like that. When we were using our Tri Brigade cards, we did not get a response. So we go ahead and summon the Snake Eye Ash and begin the combo. Now Snake Eye Ash is so good because basically it gives you four bodies at the end of this combo line. And this is a one card combo line, which is absolutely disgusting. So we go Ash into the Oak. Oak brings back Ash and then Ash sends the Serpent. And then we're gonna get Snake Eye Flame Burge plus Snake Eye Flame Burge's effect to summon two cards. Now that we've summoned our monsters, we have four bodies on the board. And as you can see, this is five cards on the field and four cards in hand. So we just went it's absolutely disgusting. So we just went plus four and then we're gonna go ahead and hit up our link four so that we can go ahead and draw four more. How many more? Four more. And it's a damn shame Konami did not give this man a uh, animation, but they definitely gave this man a limit, a limit of one. But this card says if you link summon him with four uh, bodies, then you can draw Four cards, hell yeah. And since he didn't play Ash before, we know what the score is. We know we're gonna draw those four cards. And you know what I'm gonna do with them, Batman. Now let's go. You know what I'm gonna do to that thing. We're gonna go ahead and draw these cards. Now let's draw four cards. Look how disgusting this is. We went ahead and drew four cards and put one back. Look what we're running in this. Destrudo. Destrudo. We're running Destrudo in here. That means we're running the Foolish Burial in here, my boy. Foolish Burial for the Try Guy, Foolish Burial for the Snake Eye, or Foolish Burial for the Strudo. All right, let's go. So now that we've drawn four cards and sent back one, this is absolutely ridiculous. Off of Snake Eye, <laughs> off of one Snake Eye card, look at the cards we have in our hand in the graveyard. You know, nothing's vanished yet. We got Divine Temple on board. We got Divine Temple on board. And then we also got Skull Dread. Now, you might be wondering, 
when I mentioned earlier about this card killing all the Snake Eye cards, this card is going to kill the your opponent's Snake Eye cards because the boost actually is only for um, my monsters, for my level, level one monsters I control. So I guess the opponent's going to get that pop. <laughs> so anyway, let's go. So we're going to put the cards back, continue our combination, and then we're going to go into Karis. Now, Karis' effect, banish four, and now we're going to bring out Shurik. Now, the reason why, uh, or what's interesting is, um, the reason why I sent the, uh, whatchamajig back, the King Tiger back. The reason why I sent King Tiger back is to show you what we're going to do with Shoe Rig. Because Shoe Rig is going to always search the one King Tiger in the deck, my boy. So let's go ahead. Shoe Rig combination. Going to go ahead and link two, my boy. Link two, my boy. Now, this deck right now is going to give me extra draws. This deck is going to give me board control. This deck is going to give me the ability to counter my opponent through a banish. It's going to be pretty busted. So we go ahead and we get our um, we go ahead and get our card, um, <coughs> which is King Tiger. We go ahead and summon King Tiger uh, using our Skull Dread. And I didn't mention that, actually. So basically, so I use your Skull Dread is a link monster that restarts your turn. This card gives you another summon plus draw four cards. Don't at me on this. Trust me, it's disgusting. So we're gonna go ahead and use another, look at this, we have another summon. So look at this, another summon, another summon. And we used it to summon what? King Tiger Wangu? And then we put this out. And we're gonna banish two with Fractal. Now what are we gonna do with two? Go ahead and banish two and bring out the Baron. Now, you know what's funny? I really like that all the decks that I play always have, you know, the Babadum, the Rampager. I love this card. This card lets you go ahead and search your deck for a Tri Brigade Trap card. And you know what that is. The card summons the Shoe Rig. Now, go ahead and link four. Link more. It's the Unchained Abomination. Now, I did put an extra beast, extra resource in there. I didn't have to. I could have left it, but I didn't. <laughs> I just put him in there. I wanted it to be nice and tight. <laughs> if it ain't tight, it's not tight. You know what I'm saying? Unchained Abomination. Every time a card is destroyed, this card takes one more. Every single time. And at the end of the turn, he takes what he wants. One card. This card is absolutely busted. But combined with King Tiger Wango, you can destroy cards on every summon and then pop something else or not. It's all up to you, my boy. So then we're going to go ahead and get our hand right because we got the uh, Tri Brigade search and a draw. So now we got to figure out, can we turn this into a hand trap right now? Oh, there she is. Hello, Ash. Oh, very nice. So now we've got the revolt. We've got the Ash. We've set this beast up and we're ending our turn. Now we should technically have ended on one more card, which was that other Tri Brigade Fractal, but you know, tight. You know what I'm saying? So then look, he summons. Now look at this. Now this is pretty funny. This is pretty funny. I saved this one for you because you had to see it. So he summons out Magician Souls. And he thinks, well, you know, I'm a cook him. I'm a super poly. So he goes into super poly. Oh my goodness. This mad beast. Now here's the advantage, okay? Sun Tzu, my boy. You gotta know your opponent. This guy doesn't know your opponent. This guy doesn't literally does not know what he's doing right now. He is playing weird and different just because King Tiger Wangu and Unchained Abomination is controlling the board. Because of this combination, he's playing weird, weird. So he's gonna lose, cause he's gonna misplay, cause now he's playing my game, which is the game of destruction. So let's go. So he goes ahead and super polys our boy. Absolutely fine, totally fine with this. Summon Starving Venom. Yeah, I. Right. Starving Venom gets the boost, comes over to swing. No, my boy, we've got coverage. Coverage. Come on, bring out the shoe rig. Come on, bring out the shoe rig and give him a boost from Saruja. Yes, this is my combination. Now we're dropping the beast, getting the boost, getting the pops. 
because those monsters did touch the field. Now that would have been absolutely disgusting with our, that would have been absolutely disgusting with our abomination on the board. But because he has tainted our field with his filthy monster, we're gonna go ahead and use Shubig's effect to get the banish. But this man has what? A second super polymerization. Can you believe it? Ladies and gentlemen, second super polymerization go right now. But guess what he didn't, guess what he didn't do? He didn't read. This man right here didn't read. Not like you, my boy. I know you're a man of culture, a duelist of culture. You read, read this. Revival of the duelist, the ultimate guide to teach you how to play the game. Check it out, my boy. Link in the description for a free chapter preview. Now we're gonna get in here, my boy, and resolve this chain backwards. Chain link six, let's go. Banish, banish. <laughs> yeah, he's out of here. <laughs> ah, yes, the Tri Brigade is back, but this time in Snake Eye form. Let's get in there, my boy. We've got a spicy little build for you today. So I was running Destrudo and Jet Synchron with a Foolish Burial, but I decided to drop that to add in a floodgate because I thought what would go better than all of that stuff I just showed you. And I happened to draw the floodgate. That's scoop it up territory. So in this deck, since we draw four cards, we can decide to add in cards like floodgates, hand traps, whatever we want. Tailor the deck how you see fit. For me, I just wanted to make it so that I could create this video for you just to give you the context and the core of the combo so that you can have it into your repertoire as you do. So look, my boy, this deck has unspoken synergy that I didn't speak on before, because as you can see, I am not running a um, all Mirage like I normally would run in Tri Brigade because there's no need to because you really never ever ever brick when you play in this because either you're gonna get to that snake eye or you're gonna get to that tri brigade one or the other if the guys decide to put this 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 and uh i don't know this in your hand well, i guess you lose <laughs> but other than that you'll be absolutely fine my boy now i've been getting a lot of advantage by using tri brigade because a lot of people think that i'm going into tri brigade combos they interact with that they counter that they play cards against that and then they lose because i have this entire combo line which basically is a one card access code talker if you want to do it think about it like that or a one card unchained or a one card you know whatever it's, it's it's one card and you can get to anything in your entire deck which is absolutely disgusting and the tri brigade line is pretty minimal and we even got space to run uh the ancient warriors oath of the devil dragons so this is like pretty bananas especially with the star card of the deck sorry you just scold your head this card literally allows you to have an additional turn because it provides uh another uh normal or special summon to a zone of this card points to i mean i mean not to a zone the cards points to but it provides another uh special summon to the zone this card points to and you get a, a 300 attack point boost plus we draw four cards because we use four bodies but konami did not give him an animation i guess because he's a little too scary but that's it my boys you definitely got to get in there with this deck and enjoy it have some fun your boy yt dan is gonna be making these spicy videos and also you gotta check out revival of the duelist we got a chapter preview we're doing chapter three on hand traps and um you can check it out um right now go to my website duelistgpt.com and you can download uh chapter three uh which will give you a preview of the book and i would love to hear your feedback 
um, about the book, your thoughts on anything about it. Um, but yeah, the book will be releasing very soon. Um, we're just finalizing it and just getting everything done. I am working on a cover um, with a person and we're back and forth on this. So we're just trying to figure it out and then um, we'll take it from there. So I appreciate you guys and I catch you in the next one. And as always, keep it dead.